Hi everyone, I'm Annette Morris and my channel is A Majestic Home Decor and DIYs. Now this video is titled The No Sew Tie Back Adjustable Face Mask. Now these masks are washable, reusable, and can be made with or without a nose wire. This is my second videos I made. My first video was using Dollar Tree bandanas. Now these was uh, made with elastic, over the ear elastic. And after doing so many of those, I decided to switch up and try something different. And because you can make the adjustments in the back with the tie backs, they can be worn by just about anyone. So sit back and relax and enjoy. And I'll see you over there. Now after getting requests for more masks, I went looking for more fabric. And I was able to find some fabric that has dashed away. And I was so happy to find this because it was cotton fabric. And you know, that's one of the standards in making your mask. You need cotton fabric or t-shirt fabric. And this is my fold and pleated mask, which I think is the best mask to use and to wear. These are my instructions. And if you want these instructions, just give me a request in my comment. Okay, so as you can see, we have to use two pieces of fabric, the fabric on the outside and my t-shirt fabric on the inside. These are my size, my trim, and then the ties in the back. Here I'm showing you how you put, put both the fabric together and what you would need to complete the tie back adjustable mask. The measurements will be given to you on the pattern sheet. Then this one here, I'm showing you how you can put the wire for the nose wire on the inside. I cover my wire with tape and then place it in the middle of the fabric on the inside of the mask. Here's another quick look at the patterns that I'll be using for each piece and how many. And this is the glues that I'll be using. My glues is non-toxic. And also, you may recognize this glues. You can pick this up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, let's start putting the two pieces together. The top part of the nine inch fabric is folded down one fourth inch from the top and then again at the bottom. Now once you have your folds at the top and the bottom, now you want to adjust your t-shirt fabric under the, the top fold, glue and press down. After pressing everything down, you want to flip it over, and now we're going to start putting in our pleats. You watch me here at the very top of the mask. I'm going to complete a fold, then another one, and another one, and then after making place in my folds in the fabric. Then I usually press down. Now you're going to flip this over at the press on one side. You're going to flip it over and press it on the other side also.
This will help secure your pleats on both sides of the mask. Now, at this point, we're going to open up the pleats and we're going to add the glue to glue down the pleats. Here, I'm showing you exactly where to place the glue before you glue down the pleats. Because we have extra fabric at the bottom, I added a fourth pleat, and then we're going to also secure it at the bottom where it can fit closer to the neck, and you'll see how I do that in this next step. But first, let's press everything down on both sides. By securing both ends of the bottom of the mask like this, it brings the fabric closer to the neck. I also forgot to mention that this is an open pocket down here where you can add any filter or cloth, added extra cloth that you want to. So this is also a pocket mask. Coming up, I'll demonstrate how you can open it at the bottom to add the filter or fabric. If you're familiar with my first mask video, I demonstrate how one mask can be made into a mask that could fit any size, small, medium, or large. And this one here, you'll see me flip it over and show you how you can adjust it to go either way from small to medium to large next it's time to add the trim and the ties to the mask using the four inch fabric we're going to put one at one end and one at the other end now doing this will help us to secure not only the pleats that's in our fabric, our mask, but also the ties that we're going to add to our mask. We use two lines of glue, the fabric glue, 
and also the hot glue. Now you may ask why two lines of glue? Why so much glue? Well, this is a reusable and washable mask and this will really secure it. And with every step that I make, I also secure with my hot iron. It's always on standby. Now we press, let cool, and then once it cool, we'll flip it over and then add our glue again. And then attach that over the glue and fold that over the glue. Now we're gonna press that down and let it cool. And then our next step would be to make sure everything is secured down before you go to the next step. And then our next step would be to let it cool and trim. And now we're ready for our, our ties. Now this is optional. You can secure your ties at both ends before you attach them or you can attach them while you attach them to the ends of the mask. It's up to you. I'm going to show you both ways of doing this. And all I'm doing is this uh, adding glue to the ties. The ties just to make sure they don't it gives a much cleaner look but like I said it's, it's optional I've been putting together masks since March the early of March when we had the announcement of the stay at home order and later when they issued that everyone should wear a mask and I thought okay 
how can I help? How can I step up? So that's I have actually been making masks since March, and I thought it would slow down, but it haven't. I've been getting more and more requests for masks. I've been happy to fill that void, and I'm hoping that this will help in time to come. So what type of mask do you like? Do you like the tie back or do you like the elastic? Let me know and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe down below and become a part of my Amora family here on my channel. Okay, now back to mask making. I really want to put this second video out because it gives you a variety of different features that you can make on a mask or add to your mask. Now that we're through fussing with those ties, it's now time, time to add the ties to the mask. Now we're adding two ties to each end of the mask, one at the top, one at the bottom. The good thing about using the t-shirt fabric is that it is very stretchable and it's forgiving so it's it really is able to give you exactly what you need as far as sizes you can stretch it or just leave it as is Now this, with this glue, I forgot to mention to you, there's really a two step. Once you put the fabric glue down, that's good. But when you put the hot glue down, it really holds it in place. So if you see this melting when you uh, press it with the iron, it's okay. That's what you wanna see. That's when you know that it's really melted into the fabric. Okay, add these two to the other end, then we're all done. And there you have it. I hope you enjoy watching me put this together. And remember that this is washable, reusable, and it have the nose wire, if you, which was an option. And also it have the pocket where you can add your filters to it. And it's adjustable for all ages. And if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Comment down below. And this is mass from my first video which is a lasket that's over the ear and made from Dollar Tree bandana. Comment down below and let me know which one do you prefer, the adjustable tie back or the elastic that go over around your ear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And as always, thank you Amores.